Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, my yellow shirt says fabulous, fun, colorful, and delicious. So I wanted to bring you something that was colorful, beautiful, and delicious, and I am making my spring, um, spring veggie pasta. I'm calling it that because I already have a Pasta Primavera video on Laura in the Kitchen episode on that, so I didn't want to get too confused, but you can call this Pasta Primavera 2. A spring veggie pasta, whatever your heart desires. The ingredients for this is really the kind of vegetables I have in my fridge right now at this time of year, which is some asparagus that I've cut in bite-sized pieces. I've got some broccoli florets. I also have some zucchini and yellow squash that I've chopped um, in about like a half inch pieces right down there. I've got some corkscrew pasta. You can use any shortcut pasta you'd like. I've got an orange bell pepper that I've chopped. I've got some quartered button mushrooms here, baby spinach that I've given a rough chop to, chopped tomatoes, or you can use cherry or grape tomatoes, a little bit of butter, parmigiano, loads of garlic, salt and pepper, olive oil, and basil. So you can see this is going to be a very, very like veggie full pasta, and it is delicious, but by no means Take this recipe as a guide. Whatever recipe, whatever veggies you happen to have on hand, or whatever veggies you can find right now, use those. This is just happens to be what I've got. Um, the combination that I've been really enjoying, and these are the vegetables that are out right now since spring is here. So a lot of bright, beautiful vegetables are out, and so that's what um, that's what I decided to use today. Big pot back there with water and a gen generous sprinkling of salt coming up to a boil. Large, largest skillet with high size that you have is what you should be using. I've got some olive oil getting nice and hot, and to that I'm going to add in my mushrooms and my pepper. Now, if I was making this dish for my dad, I wouldn't add the pe bell pepper because my dad thinks that bell peppers um, just overpower everything else. I like the sweetness that it that they provide. So I'm leaving the, the bell peppers in. I'm going to give these just a little bit of a salt and pepper just to get them going. And then we're going to cook these together for just a few minutes or until they develop some color and uh, cook down a bit. These are looking good. You can see they still keep their shape and texture. Now, as you can see, the mushrooms soaked up all the oil that was in there. There's only a couple tablespoons of oil. So I'm just going to add a tiny, tiny bit more of oil maybe less than a tablespoon. I'm going to add my garlic, loads of garlic. Get that a stir, and then I'm going to add in all these veggies. It's a lot of veggies, but they're going to cook down. They're going to like make their own sauce, which is going to be perfect. And I have this over medium high heat so that things don't steam so much, but they actually develop some color like the peppers and mushrooms did. Gonna give this a good season with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna cook all, woo, zucchini overboard. And I'm gonna cook all this together for a good 10 to 12 minutes or until the veggies have started to cook down and they develop a beautiful color. Halfway through the cooking, which this will take a good, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes. Halfway through, I'm going to add my pasta to the boiling water. That way we can proceed with the veggie mixture and everything will get done around the same time. So, in six minutes, add the pasta to your boiling water. This looks awesome. It's been about ten minutes. My pasta has been in the boiling water for about four minutes. I'm going to add in my tomatoes. Now, you can add in cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes. I found these beautiful tomatoes on the vine and I would wanted to use those because they just look so beautiful and it smells incredible. So I'm just using those and I'm stirring them in. And I also have here about a half a cup of the reserved starchy cooking water here from the boiling, you know, from the pasta. I'm going to let that go for maybe another minute or two. Check on my pasta, see if it needs to be drained anytime soon and then bring everything back together to give it all a big stir. Get in there like family style and chow down because this is Smelling incredible. Look at those colors. I mean, that just, that's just that got to cheer you up. How beautiful that looks. Looks perfect. Okay, I'm going to finish this up because my pasta is just about ready. So I'm going to add in my starchy cooking water, butter, and my spinach. And all I'm going to do is give this all a really big stir and cook it just long enough for the butter to melt and for the spinach to wilt. And then I'm going to drain my pasta and meet you right back here. We'll add in our final ingredient and we'll be ready to get, dig into this. 
this just looks mouth watering to me. My pasta has been drained and I put it right back into the same big pot. I'm adding in some freshly torn basil leaves and lots of parmigiana. Get my mousse glaze ready. Because I need to get all these veggies. That's a little bit on the worm side. I'm going to get all these veggies in here. And please don't fall out. I'll do this a little bit at a time. There you go. Mix this all together. Now, don't be afraid if some of the zucchini break up, if some of you know the yellow squash breaks up, because that's part of what makes the sauce. That's part of what makes it so good. Is some of those veggies kind of cook down. You know, my nonna uh, makes a fabulous pasta with zucchini, and it's very simple. I think it's like three ingredients, but she gets the zucchini to cook down a lot into almost like a pulp. And then she adds a little parmigiano in there, and that is the sauce. It's amazing. So this is kind of a play on that, but you can still see everything is still has shape. That, 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 I mean, you can see that everything has got beautiful shape. It's going to have great texture. The smell in here is outrageously good, and this will serve easy six people very generously. But then again, why wouldn't you want to feed people generously? That's all I'm saying. I'm going to just serve myself a little bit because I actually do have people coming for dinner. But I need my pre-dinner snack after all. Look at that. I'm going to go for, actually I'm going to go for that because that way I won't be so monstrous. You can see the broccoli is holding shape. The zucchini back here, it's holding a shape. The pasta is cooked al dente. It smells wonderful. That's where it's at. That is some good home food right there. That is something everybody will be thrilled to be eating tonight. It's delicious. It's full of color, full of veggies, full of texture, full of flavor, but it's most importantly, I think anyway, very, very simple to put together and you can use any vegetables you like or the any vegetable you have on hand. Go to LaraInTheKitchen.com to get this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.